How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse. That's right, that's me. If you haven't seen me before, this is me. So uh, it's 11.21 p.m. and I need to be up for work in about six hours and can't sleep. So I figured I would just make this video in which I A the crap out of your cues. So I've got a like a 15 page list of questions and answers. That's right, I wrote out answers. This is very representative of how I am in real life. So we're gonna go through them one by one. I didn't answer absolutely every question because most of the questions were different, but some of them were the same or they had very, very similar, you know, tones to them. So I kind of combined them into questions to save some time. And of course now I'm spending time talking about how I combined them to save time. But yeah. Uh, secondly, if I answer a question differently from how I did in the past, then don't be alarmed by that. Opinions change and mine always do. So. Yeah, why don't we just get into it, because my recording will shut off after half an hour, so we might as well just, you know, get crack a lacking on it. Uh, do you like bikes and why? I do, but I don't ride one. It's a good form of transportation for people who pay attention, and I'm not one of those people, so probably not a good option for me. What do you do with all your extra cards, like uncommons, commons, and not good rares, so, you know, crappy rares? Uh, I save them all. Japanese sets can be hard to complete, and so I want to help other collectors whenever possible. I get messages a lot of the time about, do you have these particular difficult to find or difficult to purchase on eBay cards from random different sets? So it's uh, always important for me to keep them so that I can supply them to people in the future. Uh, how do you manage to not lose a lot of money when you buy so many booster boxes? That's a good question. I make a small amount of money from ad revenue on my openings, but I sell off a lot of the duplicates as well. Uh, plus, I would have spent a lot to collect the set anyway, so the extra booster boxes, they cut down on how many cards I have to buy in the future in order to make that set possible. So, uh, Is Rising Fist the first set you completed without trading or buying any cards? Well, technically, yes. Uh, I completed EX Battle Boost in five boxes, but not the reverse holo set. So this is the first full set I've done just by opening. Uh, what other EXs and Gengar and Mega Gengar do you think will be in Phantom Gate? Uh, I'll change my mind a million times on this, but for now I'm going to go with Gardevoir and Mega Gardevoir is the other Mega as a fairy type, uh, Suicune, and Togekiss to round out the set. They always do something weird, so that's why I'm picking Togekiss. Uh, which full art is your favorite in Rising Fist, and which one's your least favorite? Uh, Dragonite's my favorite full art, and Seismitoad is my least favorite, but I like Seismitoad a lot better now that I've seen it in person. Uh, what first got you into Japanese Pokemon collecting, and how many EX cards do you have? A uh, YouTuber named Mr. 55771 got me into Japanese cards when I watched him open up his boxes of Hail Blizzard and Psycho Drive. It was really awesome. I wasn't collecting Pokemon cards at the time, and after that I had to collect Japanese. As far as EX cards, uh, hundreds. Definitely hundreds. A total figure around 350 or 400 would not be surprising to me. Uh, what's your favorite Mega EX? Uh, I would say Tyranitar, followed closely by Gyarados. Um, this is a good one. I'm wondering what advice you have for content creators getting their start on YouTube. Trying to break out into the community can be tough, and it can be discouraging when you don't receive any feedback for your work. Picking a topic to focus on and filming it is easy enough, but how do you stay motivated and stick with it longer than a couple of videos? Uh, I shot a video recently with tips for new PokeTubers. You can find that on my channel somewhere. But the biggest way to stay motivated is to do something that you love. Would you be a part of this if you weren't making videos, or... If you were, but they weren't popular, would you still be in this community, in this fandom? Uh, that was me for collecting Japanese cards. Uh, even if I were still at 50 subscribers, I'd still be collecting, and that's what makes it easy for me to continue to make videos. It's a big part of my motivation. Uh, what got you into Pokemon? In the 8th grade, that shows how old I am, uh, some friends were playing Pokemon Red and Blue and battling all the time, and I hadn't heard of it before, but I really wanted to join them. So I got a Game Boy Pocket and Pokemon Red with birthday and Christmas money, and so began the saga. Do you have friends that play Pokemon with you? No, I play solo these days. Uh, what is your favorite reaction of when a YouTuber pulled a card? Definitely Ando, uh, Unlisted Leaf, pulling the, uh, the Golden Zekrom, I believe. It's absolutely priceless. It's the greatest celebration of all time. Uh, if you had to make a Pokemon set, what three Pokemon would you, uh, you make EXs? Uh, my dream set would have uh, EXs for Steelix, Suicune, and Umbreon. They're three of my favorites. Uh, if you were to decide what EX and Mega EX cards were in a set based on the upcoming Alpha, Sapphire, and Omega Ruby games, 
what would they be? And I literally wrote, oof, good question. That would require me to predict what will be in Phantom Gate and then play off of that, so it's very difficult. So my guesses are going to be that the two Megas, assuming there'll be two separate sets, each with one Mega and two EXs, I'm going to say that the two Megas that they'll use between the two sets will be Ampharos and Scizor, and then the regular EXs will be Hydreigon, Snorlax, Talonflame, and Superior, just to kind of spread out the typing. I think those would be really cool. Uh, what's your favorite TCG set? That would be, for me, the furthest ends of offense and defense, which was EX Dragon Frontiers, I believe, in English. I'm partial to the Delta Species sets, and this one is definitely my favorite. Uh, what's your favorite holo card from Rising Fist and your favorite EX? Uh, Clarza for the holo, Dragonite for the EX. Uh, how many hollows do you have? Definitely over a thousand. I think there are that many in my trade binder and in various unsorted stacks on my desk. If you look at that, you just see a mess of hollows. Uh, plus, you have to add in all the ones that are part of complete and incomplete sets. Uh, I'd even say 1,500 to 2,000 is a safe bet, but I'm not going to count them. Uh, stupid but original question, my favorite. Uh, which Jigglypuff art is your favorite, and uh, what would be your opinion on a Pokemon fighting game on the Wii U? Uh, my favorite Jigglypuff art, and I went through them all, uh, is uh, from Miracle Crystal. I think it's really cute. Uh, Wii U Pokemon fighting game? That would be awesome and really fun for the community, but since I don't have a Wii U or much time for these kinds of games, I really doubt I would play it. Uh, will we get a collection overview? I'm dying to see your whole collection. Yes, you will. I'm not sure when, though. Uh, it would take a monumental effort on my part. So it might be like a subscriber special of some kind, though I already have something planned for 5k. Maybe it'll be for 6,000 or something. I'm not sure. Uh, did you know arthritis isn't just in people's joints, it can also be in the internal organs like the heart. And also that kids can have arthritis. I'm only 14 and I have what I just described. Crazy, right? And most people think it's something old women get in their hands. The more you know. Uh, I'll get it in my hands, too. I crack my knuckles all the time. And they say, oh, it'll be arthritis, it'll be arthritis. And I say, no, it won't, and I'm sure it will be. So, uh, I did know that, but I didn't know that it was possible in the heart. So I hope it doesn't cause you too much discomfort. Uh, what does the ST on the back of each booster pack mean? Super terrific. Uh, just like all Japanese packs are super terrific. Seriously, I don't know, and I never considered it. Does anybody know the answer to that? Uh, what's your favorite Japanese Pokemon promo card? Uh, Gold Star Umbreon is magnificent, but I'll never own it, so out of the ones I own, the V-Jump promo Salamence Shard Hollow. Oh, it's so great. Uh, if your girlfriend wanted you to stop collecting cards, would you? Nope. No, I wouldn't. Uh, she'd never ask me to, but if she did, I wouldn't do it. I would stop collecting for the right reasons, like if there were a financial issue or something else major, but Pokemon is a part of me now. So, How did you think of your YouTube name? It actually is my personal email account. I wanted something different without being too complicated, and my previous email was very complicated, so I decided on wake, run, collapse, because that's how I treat most days. I go at like 110% until I literally just have to sleep, as the shooting of my video would uh, would be evidence of, and then I just start over the next day, the same way. Uh, what camera do you use to record, and what camera would you prefer over your current one? Uh, I own a Sony DSC-WX9, I record in 720p, I really like it, it's record actually every video that I have on this channel. Uh, I really want this one to last a long time because I'm used to the quality and the focus so any other camera would have an acclimation period I need to get used to it and there's a chance I wouldn't like it um, so yeah I want to stick with the one that I have. What are you looking forward to in the future? Phantom Gate in September is gonna be awesome uh, I guess I'm not really looking forward to that much right now I have a vacation from work in October and I might try to do something fun what is the highest spe special attacking Pokemon? It's Mega Mewtwo Y, right? Uh, barring, like, in-battle funniness, that is, but I think it's Mega Mewtwo Y. Uh, what's your favorite shiny? Like, shiny Pokemon? It makes no sense, but I love the shiny Deoxys. It's so different, it looks really great. It's yellow. That's pretty cool. Uh, favorite XY card? I know it's plain Jane, but uh, the Charizard EX Full Art from Wild Blaze is pretty majestic. Um, what is the card from the set that you believe will see itself the most in the competitive scene? I really don't know, but Corinna seems crucial to the new fighting type deck, so maybe Corinna. Uh, what small legendary do you like? Shaman is my favorite, followed closely by Mew and Jirachi. Uh, I love both Shaman forms, by the way. Do you remember which cards were your first polls ever? What pack was it? I don't remember my first English poll, but... Um, I remember getting my, um, first full art, a Kyurem EX full art, out of my first box of... Japanese cards, which was Hail Blizzard. 
along with regular EX versions of Kyurem and Groudon. Uh, what Pokemon do you think deserves to be an EX the most? Suicune, for the love of all that is holy, Suicune. Seriously, come on. Uh, Wigron Collapse, have you ever heard of a Poketuber named Poke Collection? Of course I have. Uh, I actually won a giveaway from him. I won a DVD of Wolf Children. Uh, I love his work ethic and I, his respect for the community, and I wish him all the success in the world. I think he's a great guy. Who do you think would be... Who, sorry, who do you think would look the coolest with a Mega Evolution? Infernape, Torterra, or Empoleon? Uh, Torterra, if they go all out and give it a hefty change, I'll go Torterra. Uh, have you done a face revealing video? If not, when are you going to do one? Uh, yeah, I've done a few with, you know, various levels of beard or no beard, and I'm doing one right now. And I did another one last week. So. Uh, what was the first set of Pokemon cards you ever opened? Uh, again, um, Hail Blizzard for Japanese, but our first English set, I'm really not sure. Probably base set or jungle, but I don't remember. Uh, what do you like better, Mega Heracross EX or Mega Lucario EX? Gotta go with Lucario in this one. Uh, do you like old school lowercase EXs or the new ones better? I prefer the new style of EX cards a little bit more just because of the great artwork. However, I really believe that the old school EX cards uh, chose their Pokemon better and had much better variety, though they're closing the gap a little bit now by including non-legendaries, so that's pretty cool as well. Favorite Pokemon? I don't have a number one favorite Pokemon, and that's great with me. I have lots of favorites instead. What was your uh, first secret rare card you ever pulled? Uh, if you mean shiny or ultra rare, uh, then the shiny Reuniclus from Dragon Blast. I bought a bunch of booster boxes at the same time, I opened Dragon Blast last, and um, really helped me appreciate the rare cards. What do you hope to accomplish in the long run from your YouTube channel? I'm really not sure. Uh, once my ultimate goal was a thousand subscribers, and that one's gone now. I guess I don't really have a singular goal. I just want to contribute to the Japanese TCG community as much as I can, get people interested in the cards, which is really the only reason I have a channel in the first place. If you're stranded on an island and you could choose one person to be on the island with, uh, who would it be? One person? Definitely my girlfriend. Barring that choice, a wizard of some kind would be nice. Uh, if you would have any legendary Mega Evolve, what would it be? Mega Cresselia. I'd love to have a brick wall of a Mega Evolution, and it's so hard to just choose one from the Reggie Trio, so I pick Cresselia. If a Blastoise would blast toys, how much toys would a Blastoise blast? So much toys. Just so, so much. Uh, do you like Dublade? Of course I do. Uh, do you watch the Pokemon anime? I don't. I stopped watching around Season 2. If there was a beehive in your house, what would you do? I would freak out. I hate bees. I'm also allergic to pollen, so it's just a negative association that goes along with it, but I hate bees. Uh, what Japanese set is worth buying? In my mind, it's all of them. You can get 5 EXs per box and EX Battle Boost, uh, but they're reprints and they're worth less, and there's no hollows, so... I'd say just buy a booster box of a set you like the best. That way you'll be happy with whatever you pull. What two Fall Art Trainers would you want to have? Misty and Brock, but Sabrina would be a close third. Uh, Cynthia, Lance, and Giovanni would also be really nice, so make that happen, Pokemon. Do a first gen set. Do it. What's your favorite Pokemon game from old school? Like yellow, red, or blue? Red from the first gen, because it's the only one I owned. How many complete sets do you have? I looked it up. I have 40 complete sets. I'm not going to list them all. 45 if you don't count the reverse hollows. When you complete the Japanese Gold Star set, would you submit the cards to PSA for grading? I don't PSA grade, merely because I like how the cards look as part of their complete sets, but PSA grading is really cool. Oh, and, uh... He's the first to have the English Gold Star set in PSA 10, so congratulations on that milestone. We made a note of that as well. What's your least favorite Pokemon from Hoenn? Uh, I've got a few that are kind of eh. Uh, Sarskit, Lanoon, Wurmple, uh, Lunatone, Solrock, plenty of others. I don't have a specific hated Pokemon, but generally I like the uh, design of third gen the least. How many bowls do you have in your kitchen cupboards? That is a great question. I love questions like this. I counted 18. Uh, 15 regular size bowls for salads and, you know, serving and sorting out, you know, recipes and things. And I've also got three big bowls that I eat my raisin bran with in the morning. Uh, they're giant, they're like freaking punch bowls. Uh, if there was a big red button in front of you, would you press it? No, I saw that god-awful movie, The Box, with Cameron Diaz, and I know how this works. I can never live it down. Favorite Major League Baseball team? Red Sox fan, till the day I die. Lugia or Luxray, Charizard X or, or Mewtwo X, and I said Lugia by a little, and Charizard X by a lot. What's your favorite motivation, sorry, what's your main motivation to collect Pokemon cards? The art, the fact that it's Pokemon, the rarity, it's the artwork. 
Uh, the rarity itself never really affected me, even though it's nice to collect something that most of the rest of the community has never experienced or touched before. The Pokemon fact is nice as well, but I might have taken to collecting Final Fantasy cards instead. Do you like ice cream? If so, what's your favorite flavor? Of course I like ice cream, but I'm not sure what my favorite flavor is. Mint chocolate chip is a classic, but birthday cake ice cream is really good. I like all kinds of candy and ice cream, too. I need water. Hang on a second. We're like 15 minutes. I'm probably going to stop this in a second. And by a second, I mean like 10 minutes. Uh, if you had all the money in the world, what Pokemon cards would you get? Unlimited money? Oh boy, all those ja crazy Japanese promos I'd never be able to otherwise afford, uh, like Umbreon and Espeon Gold Stars, the Giratina Rayquaza full art promos, uh, the Great Raichu, Great Umbreon, Great Espeon, all in Japanese. The list would go on and on and on. Uh, what's the first Pokemon card you ever got? Mine was a Machop. Um, I don't remember my first English card, but my first Japanese card was a Pikachu from Hail Blizzard. Is your body ready for Smash 4? It is ready, mostly because I don't have a Wii U. Again, sorry y'all. Uh, do you play any instruments? If so, what do you play? I was never able to pick up an instrument. Uh, I sang in high school, and I sang well. But I never had the muscular coordination for any real instrument. Uh, what's your thoughts on Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG or OCG? I have no thoughts. Yu-Gi-Oh! has never been my thing, but I'll never knock someone for liking it. Uh, something I'd really be interested in knowing. Have you played or do you currently play any MMOs? If yes, which games? Now this is just personally for me. I generally see MMOs as a time sink from which there is no escape, but that's because I have a very, very addictive personality. Uh, I've played FF14 before for the PS3, I really liked it, but I was noticing how easily I'd get into the mindset of, I have quests today, this is what I'm going to do, and it would be how I spent my free time, and there's no escape from that. I'd waste my time with it, constantly. Even though it was fun, I didn't want to become beholden to the game, I guess is what's important. It's the same reason why I don't do most subscription-based things like Netflix or Gamefly. I feel like I must. And something like that shouldn't be compulsory. Who do you think would win in a battle, Swampert or Flygon? I'll go with my boy Flygon here, but for no real reason. Do you like basketball? What do you think of the Spurs' victory in the finals? Not a big basketball fan. But I love the fact that Tim Duncan got his fifth ring. Uh, he's sorely underrated and he deserves a full-handed championship ring, so... Plus, it keeps another one from LeBron for another year, and I'm okay with that. Uh, can you try to make a video of Draw Your Life and explain how you got into Pokemon TCG trading cards? It would be the shortest video ever. I'm wretched at drawing, so the fact that it's a one-step story saves me here. I saw a Hail Blizzard booster box opening and fell in love. Why don't you collect English cards, and do you have any at this point? Surprised it took this long to get this question. Uh, I've got some English cards here and there, but I collect Japanese for a few big reasons, and I'm going to read them from the monitor. Uh, the card quality is superb. Uh, the sets come out earlier than anywhere else, and the booster box style makes it easy to get good pulls for a good price. I also generally like the look of the cards, or the smaller things, like the gray borders, the look of the Japanese lettering. So, uh, Do you prefer cats or dogs? I like them both. But I tolerate cats better because they're quieter and they don't give me hives. Some dogs make me break out a little bit. Not nearly as bad as when I was younger, though. So there's hope if you are allergic. If you are stuck on a desert island and can only have one thing, what would it be? One thing? That's it? Helicopter. Boom. Are you a fan of soccer? If so, are you enjoying the World Cup and who are you cheering for? I wouldn't call myself a fan of soccer, but I get into it from time to time. I was enjoying the World Cup until the U.S. got eliminated earlier this week. It'll be nice to watch some games without anyone to root for. Uh, favorite car, Toyota Yaris, because I drive one, but seriously, I love a, like a Corvette with a gorgeous paint job. It's so beautiful. If you were in charge of making the next Pokemon set, what hollows, megas, and EXs would you put in it, and what would the set be called? Um, I went through uh, my dream set, but if I were to make a new one now, um, I would call it Metallic Mayhem. And uh, the EXs would be Suicune, Absol, Flygon, and Scizor. And Absol and Scizor would be the Megas. But they're putting out Dialga and Aegislash EXs in Japan in a couple of months. So that's probably not going to happen. But Metallic Mayhem is what I'd call it. How do people react when they say you collect Pokemon cards? Uh, this might surprise some of you. When I tell the story at the bar, most people are pretty stoked about it. If you say it with confidence, it helps, because you own it, it's a part of you, and that's important. Uh, besides, as Bill Murray once said in Lost in Translation, which is one of my absolute favorite movies, 
the more you know who you are and what you want, the less you let things upset you. If people don't like that part about me, it doesn't bother me. What evolution needs a mega, Leafeon and Glaceon are kind of the unsung evolution, so they get my vote. Favorite hobbies? Pokemon. Of course it's Pokemon. Uh, what cards do you think should totally be in the set that goes with the name Rising Fist? They did a good job with that, I think. Uh, Lucario, Slacking, Hitmonchan, Machamp, Hitmonlee. It makes sense. They're impact fighting Pokemon. They probably should have done either Sock and Throw or Mankey and Primeape in place of the uh, Mindful and Mindchow. That's just my preference, though. Are you into gaming? What games do you like besides Pokemon? I love RPGs. I haven't played them as much the past couple years. Final Fantasy is my jam. What's your favorite animal? Giraffes. Fa uh, sorry, closest set to be complete. I'm one card away from completing six different sets. But Secret of the Lakes is the largest of those at 131, and I have 130, so we'll go with Secret of the Lakes. Have you seen the Dragonite Full Art? It's so awesome. What's the rarest card you own in your whole collection? Yeah, the Dragonite Full Art is amazing. Probably the two rarest cards in my collection are the Crystal Charizard and Crystal Celebi from Mysterious Mountains, which is Japanese E-Series 5. Very expensive, very hard to come by in good condition. Got them both. Do you do your channel for fun? I make money off the ads, but it's a very secondary reason why I do this. I enjoy Pokemon and I enjoy making videos, interacting with all of you. If I only ran it like a business, I'd get sick of it and I would have I would be done by now. So if you could introduce new type of cards into packs, something which would be super rare, what would it be? I really can't think of one that would make real sense. They've done so well in the past, so nothing I can think of would sound as cool. Do you like the new X and Y Rising Fist pack art? And if that hasn't been asked, what's your favorite hockey team? I do like the pack art, and again, being from Boston, I'm a Bruins fan. If you could pick any five Pokemon to ban for being in card sets, what would they be? I'm going to pick some Pokemon that have been in sets way too often recently. Uh, Amolga is the worst offender, followed closely by the three monkey evolution lines, so that's one, two, three, and four. Uh, number five is any Pokemon who keeps cast form from being in sets. Like, what the hell, guys? Uh, what's your favorite Gold Star card? Mew. It's a Delta Species Gold Star. It looks wonderful in blue. Do you plan on collecting... Sorry, no. Collecting. I'm mushing all the questions together. It means I need water. I'm talking under a light in an air-conditioned dry room. Do you plan on playing Omega Ruby and or Alpha Sapphire when they come out? Definitely. I'm going to get them both. What's your favorite black and white series set? Uh, EX Battle Boost, and then uh, second is Thunder Knuckle from Black and White E. What are you learning in college? I actually graduated from college with a mathematics degree in 2007. Yeah, I'm that old. I turn 29 next month. Uh, what's your favorite Pokemon video game? I'm going to answer this based on what was my favorite at the time, and that's Pokemon Silver. I like the upgrades that they add to each game. The little things like the sprint shoes that make the game more functional than it had been in previous generations, but... At the time, silver was my favorite. Uh, if you could invent one machine or apparatus of some sort with around $1,000, what would you make, and how and why? I would make a giant slingshot that safely delivered cards to my house from Japan, and wouldn't have to wait so long. Or pay money for the shipping. I'd just use the big old slingshot. I'm really curious as to what you work as. You don't need to answer it. If it's personal, I was just wondering. Uh, I've answered this before, so I don't mind answering this. And uh, anyone who has my full name can look me up on Facebook. Uh, don't do that, by the way. But I'm just saying you could if you wanted to. Uh, I'm the assistant manager of customer service at a Hannaford Brothers location. That's a supermarket in our area. Uh, my boss and I oversee about 55 employees. Uh, it's tough and it drives me up a wall sometimes, but it's awesome to have challenging, honest work instead of you know, riding a desk for 50 years. No thank you. Uh, how, how many times do you do Pokemon a week, like entering tournaments, playing the TCGO, stuff like that? I don't play the TCG at all. It's basically been YouTube stuff only for a while now. Which X and Y set do you like the most? Uh, Rising Fist in a landslide. Love the artwork, top to bottom. You ever feel like your money would be better spent elsewhere? Sure. Yeah, of course. Uh, but these purchases uh, would be boring and less fun than collecting Japanese cards. So there's a trade-off with everything. It's good for the soul. Uh, where are you planning on taking your channel in the future? Uh, I'm going to cut the video here and then jump back in with the rest of the questions afterwards so it doesn't cut out. Uh, no real spoilers here. Um, my Japanese collection needs are winding down. 
So while I'll continue to open the new sets, there will be fewer openings to shoot and record, just because I don't need as much anymore. Kicking around some ideas that I hope to implement someday that are Pokemon related, but not necessarily TCG related. I'm just at the exploratory stages of that now, so don't expect anything for quite a while. So, gonna cut here, gonna jump back in in a second. And hey, cool, I'm back. All right, uh, what are you looking forward to in the new set of X and Y3? Well, I'm done with this set, but at the time I was really looking forward to Dragonite, uh, both of them. Do you play Monster Waylord? Uh, I don't, but it has a cool name. How many booster pack or booster boxes of Pokemon have you opened? I think my full booster box total is 121, but that might be my YouTube total as well. It could be slightly more that I opened off camera. I can't remember pack-wise. Um, it's over 2,500 for sure. Easily over 2,500. Probably 3,000. What's the most valuable or expensive car to complete set in your collection? Uh, again, probably the most valuable complete set I own is Mysterious Mountains E-Series 5 because of the crystal cards. What was your favorite cartoon growing up? If that's already been asked, uh, what was a toy that you held dearly? Uh, I tended to bounce around on stuff like that a lot. I would watch something intensely for a few months, and then I'd find a new show and forget all about it. Kind of what I do now. Uh, Rescue Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tiny Toon Avengers were among the greats when I was younger. Uh, Pokemon and Digimon came a little later in my life. Uh, what consoles do you have? Very little new age stuff. I've got a PS3 and I've got a Nintendo Wii. I still have a working uh, PS2. I've got a Super NES that hasn't been used in years. And I think my Atari still works too. Poorly, but it works. Have you caught them all? Uh, I think I finished the decks in silver, but I'm not sure now. I might not have finished it all the way. might have ended in the 240s. Uh, have you ever played Pokemon Battle Revolution? Uh, I've never played it before, actually. I've missed almost all of the spin-off games. A uh, favorite starter Pokemon of all time? That is a tough choice. Probably Charmander, just because he was the first one I chose for myself when I played Red. Ooh, I cracked my neck. I can't do it that well. Uh, favorite sport and which team do you support in that sport? American football, and I'm a Pats fan. I thoroughly enjoy baseball, football, hockey, but football is a sport that I'm most likely to watch if my favorite team isn't playing, so I'll go with football. Do you go to college or not? If so, which college? I went to Bridgewater State College in Massachusetts. It's now Bridgewater State University. What is your favorite energy type? I don't really have a favorite, but dark type is pretty cool, so let's go with that. Uh, do you have Yeezy 2s? I thought these might be shoes, but I had to Google search them, so that's all you need to know. No, I don't have Yeezy 2s. Uh, how would you feel if they replaced Hollow Pokemon cards with Reverse Hollow cards? The asker would be happy, and I wouldn't be. Uh, reverse Hollows are cool, but I'd only want them to supplement the Japanese sets, not replace them like they did in the non hollow set EX Battle Boost. Uh, favorite anime is Evangelion, but I've really enjoyed Madoka and Science Gate recently. If you haven't watched uh, Madoka, it's um, or Madoka, whatever you want to call it, it is um, it's something else. Yeah, it's really something else. Have you ever heard of or bought Beyblades? Heard of them? Yes. Bought them? No, I haven't. Uh, favorite Poketuber, not including JJP? That's not a leading question at all. Uh, based on whose videos I'm most likely to watch when they appear in my sub box, it's Poketernity. Uh, I'm not sure if he's still uploading, though, because it's been a while. He didn't seem to collect Wild Blaze, but I hope he's still around. He should do Rising Fist. If you're watching, man, do Rising Fist. It's worth it. Uh, which Pokemon do you believe existed first, and why? Some say Muse, others say Arceus. It hurts my head to think about these things. Uh, would it be Arceus by definition? I'm not really sure. Are you like a Pokemon Master? Because you have like a lot of good Pokemon cards. You might be the next Pokemon League champion. You don't have enough badges to ask me that question. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I thought uh, I'd be a Pokemon Master when I accomplished something really outstanding in the community, and I haven't done that. Until then, I'm just grinding for that Elite Four glory just like everybody else. If you could choose three people to live on a deserted island with you for the rest of your days, who would they be? Uh, don't include family members, because that's obvious. Uh, so I decided I would go with Chris Martin to make me music, Grace Helbig to make me laugh, and Cain Velasquez, so he could rip a tree out of the ground and make me a raft, and then we could all leave. Uh, if you were given the option of having one Pokemon come to life and be yours, what would it be? I would love a Togekiss. I don't have a real need for anything super, you know, powerful in the real world, and Togekiss would be sweet and helpful and cool. 
How did you get into Japanese collecting in general? How did you get into Pokemon? Did you start with the games or the TCG? I started with the games and the anime followed shortly thereafter. I collected and played the TCG a little bit, disappeared for a while during the third gen, got back into it after Diamond and Pearl. Uh, when did you start collecting? I started collecting Japanese in May of 2012 and I started shooting videos in October of 2012. Uh, what Pokemon would you like to go on a date with, and why, especially that Pokemon, a date? It's Avalug. Of course it is. We'd never have to wait for a table at a restaurant. If you love Pokemon games, what's your favorite DS game? I really liked Heart Gold. Even more so than Pokemon Black, I really liked Heart Gold. What was your favorite event that took place in the Wild Blaze opening series, like the, the shots one or pulling an Ultra Rare? And I love pulling that Ultra Rare Charizard in Box 19. It really saved the opening. I would have been very bummed to have opened 20 boxes without an ultra rare Charizard. I probably wouldn't have done 20 boxes again. Uh, I'd like to know how you have so much money to get the packs. Uh, the, the asker says, I break bank just to get packs of cards, but I'm teen, so it's not new for me. But yeah, how do you afford so many packs? Well, like I mentioned earlier, I'm turning 29 next month, so I'm kind of an adult. Uh, so my situation is a bit different. Uh, but I honestly spent a lot of my life working lots of hours to save money, put myself through college, and now I'm in a good position in my life. Uh, so a hobby like this, which I was never able to afford before, is not possible. Uh, can you come to Malaysia for a fan meetup? I wish. The alone, alone the airfare would be very expensive, but if I had 450,000 subscribers instead of 4,500, this might be feasible. Uh, do you think you'll be able to continue to collect Pokemon cards even when you're old and gray? Probably not, to be honest. Uh, I generally move on from things at one point or another, and Pokemon might not be different for me. It just might not be. However, I plan on staying in the game for a long time, so I'm not going anywhere. And no worries for the time being, of course. What's your favorite memory from high school or college? Um, this is a little personal, but I'm going to share it anyways. Um... I'm just I'm gonna read it right from here because I don't wanna I don't wanna mess it up. Um, for a dear friend of mine's 18th birthday party, we split into teams and had a scavenger hunt around town in January. Yeah, in January. Uh, one of them was running the bases at a baseball field, and it was about 33 degrees out and pouring rain, so the grass was soaking wet, like your feet would sink into the grass. But the dirt on the infield was still covered in ice. It was like a skating rink. And we ran them anyways, on video camera, so that we could all go back and watch what the other teams did. Uh, I got extra points for letting another team uh, team member do my makeup, and it was beautiful. Uh, this friend is no longer around, but I fondly remember that night as a wonderful experience, and that is all that I will say about that. Moving on, if any three Pokemon can get a full art card excluding Shuckle, yeah, I know. Uh, which three would you pick? Go away notification. I don't want you. Uh, Gyarados, Tyranitar, and Hydreigon. What state do you live in? What state uh, it's in the USA? And can you try to say this word? And you you know what you picked. Uh, I live in Massachusetts, and here goes. Uh, cool or Ayokul, or something. I don't know. I'm pronouncing the J's as Y's and pretending that I know what I'm doing. Looks like it's an Icelandic word. It's... Pretty cool looking. Uh, do you think that Pokemon should revert on how they do their artwork like they used to? Now almost all hollows and ultra rares are done by five band graphics. If you didn't know, they do these now instead of the the regular um, the art the artist drawing them. But I kind of like them both. For instance, the Noivern and Clods are hollows, and Rising Fist are my two favorite hollows. They're both five band. Uh, but I see what you mean because of different styles. If you're into the video games. Have you ever encountered a shiny Pokemon? Never. It's never happened before outside of like the Red Gyarados. I've never found one in the wild. But I'm not giving up. I'll do it someday. And, uh, yeah, about that. Anyways, uh, hey, Wake Run Collapse, uh, question, what are some of your life goals? I'm not really a concrete goal-oriented person. I want to feel accomplished and work hard and be happy, and aside from that, it doesn't matter how I get there. Besides, if I have a life goal and I manage to complete it at 35... What do I do then? If I find a new purpose, does it invalidate or lessen the old one? It's, you know, it's hard to say. Which countries have you visited and which one did you like the most? I've never left the US. I've never deviated that far from the East Coast, actually, but there are many places I would like to visit someday in the world. 
If you would have to stop Poketubing for some reason, what lasting message would you like to stick with us from your videos? If the, and I'm going to get serious for a second, if the unthinkable were to happen, and I no longer made videos, or I no longer could make videos, I would want everyone to know that I really enjoyed my time with all of you. Uh, the internet is a wonderful place to connect people who feel alone or ostracized in their society or in their personal lives by helping them find common interests and finding people who share those interests. Uh, I'm very happy to have been a part of that. It's pretty cool. Uh, what's your take on how much longer Pokemon will be around? Uh, do you like the new generations, or would you rather they stopped after a certain generation? I've enjoyed the direction they've taken uh, with the games and the new Pokemon, so, you know, keep them coming, for sure. Uh, do you prefer Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire? Probably Omega Ruby because of Groudon, but I'm sure I'm going to buy and play both. Uh, would you ever consider doing a game playthrough on your channel? Not necessarily, no. Um... Let's Plays are almost certainly out of the question, but there might be something in that general wheelhouse that I might be looking into. Maybe. Possibly. But not a Let's Play. Be clear on that. Uh, down to the last two, if you had to pick one Poketuber to live with, who would it be? I would live with myself, because uh, he and I like the same foods and we're equally messy, so we can't be mad at each other for that. And last question is, have you ever played Portal 2? Yes, I rented it one night and messed around with it for a while. It's a fun game. So, anyways, uh, I'm splicing this, what's probably going to be like a 36 or 37 minute video together. Thank you all very much for your awesome questions. I really enjoyed doing this. And I hope to uh, talk to you guys soon.